All right, what is up YouTube? We ended up in Wilson, North Carolina today, taking care of a little bit of business over here. But uh, we did find something very fascinating over here. I took you guys on a tour of the Vernon Park Mall that's a dead mall over in uh, Kinston, North Carolina, but it looks like Dead Mall City has also struck the town of Wilson. So uh, yeah, we're gonna look at the Wilson Mall, which is now a dead mall. So come with me and let's do this. All right, guys, here we go. Wilson Mall, once a thriving mall in the city of Wilson, North Carolina, but now it's as dead as dead can be. So let's poke around, see what we can see. All right, so there you see it. There's the marquee that used to be lit up this time of night, the Wilson Mall. You can already see it looks like, of course, graffiti is kicking in here just like it is at the one over in Kinston. Man, we can actually look in here and see it's just it's amazing how this used to be the staple shopping center of this community and now it's just basically a a pile of rubble come over here and let's uh look at the door this is the front door where many people would walk in and oh my god look inside that is just Oh yeah, I believe this is definitely worse than the Kinston Mall, hands down. Oh, how lovely. Somebody spray painted what appears to be a penis on the door. Oh, check this out inside. This, this is funny. Mall closed due to renovation. Too late. <laughs> That's great. And as I stand here, oh man, oh wow, the aroma. Yeah, I, um, I backed up away from the door there. I'll tell you guys the the odor that's coming from there. You can you can smell it. It's it's mold. It's mildew. It's it's an awful aroma. There's, uh, I'm guessing rainwater and moisture and everything is is getting in probably from the ceilings. They're not taking care of the building obviously because it's abandoned, but. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna back up from that door a little bit. The the odor there is just a little intoxicating. So let's uh, keep on with our journey. And yeah, there you can see it. The ceiling tiles and and everything are just laying on the ground, and the ceiling's basically collapsing. And if you look right there, you can actually see it. There's the the mold forming right there I, I knew i smelt that looks like uh this used to be verizon wireless oh man yeah just this this mall if you guys are familiar with wilson this once was a a thriving mall and oh yeah you can see it again there's there's mold and everything ceiling tiles all back in there and you know it was very nice and i'm going to show you something very funny and just a matter of seconds because if we swing around there is still a sign of life here the amc movie theater is the only place that still exists here and to show you i'm not you know pulling your leg these are all the modern movies that are out as of march march 2023 I mean, look, there's even a uh, cocaine bear and Creed. So yeah, this is the only remnants of what used to be a, a thriving mall. And I'll swing this all around here in just a few minutes, but there you go, AMC. Walk down here a little bit more. See what other movies are currently playing. But there you go. You can see that 
the movie theater is still very, very active. So we look inside. And here we go. There's, uh, again, Cocaine Bear, and it's mainly the same movie posters, but definitely still, still an active movie theater inside of a dead mall. I mean, and when I tell you guys that everything around here is dead, you're going to see something in a minute that is going to really blow your mind because when I say everything around here is dead, even the police left this mall. I'm not kidding you. The police even left this mall. They had a substation here and the police left this mall. That's how crazy that is. All right, guys, so it's starting to become sunset here on the east coast on this unusually warm march but as i mentioned if you look up there you'll see this used to be a police substation and now of course even it has left this shopping center. Crazy, right? You know it's bad when the police get the heck out of here. It's like, yep, we don't want to be a part of this anymore. This used to be a place called Trade It, but before it was traded, I believe it was the Dollar Tree and Trade It was a place that was kind of like a pawn shop. They still have one over in Greenville, but, uh, yeah, even it's gone. Everything leaves. Everything leaves. I mean, look at this parking lot. Besides the movie theater, even the bank went out of business. The bank that sat on the corner went out of business. The movie theater. The only thing, again, I can't express it enough. Even Abrams over there. Abrams, which was a southern cooking restaurant, still very much active in Greenville. But here, it is gone. Let's go back and uh, look at this some more. Here's uh, J.C. Penney, what they would call the the anchor store, if you will. Here is uh, J.C. Penney coming up. Yeah, the Wilson Mall, Wilson, North Carolina. I remember uh, briefly having a conversation with one of the mall employees here, probably circa 2013, when I came over to Wilson and um, I could tell at that time that the mall was basically in dire straits and it was uh, all the shops were closing up and <laughs> the employee was like oh yeah it's just going through a tough time right now but it's it's coming back well needless to say it didn't come back yeah that's it what's left of the the Wilson Mall here's the uh, back side of the mall oh look here we go how fitting the dreams this mall once had have all gone down the drain here's the back side of JC Penney's well JC Penney excuse me it, used to be referred to when I was a child they would always call it JC Penney's yeah here's the the back side of the, the mall entrance I don't even know if this mailbox still does pickups yeah here is um Bob's hair salon down there just so crazy all this is just a remnant from the past now but there's still some signs of life there's uh, a McDonald's over there but for the most part all in all this is memories of yesteryear
All right, guys, so if you like that video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, check out the uh, Vernon Park Mall. I did a dead mall on that and a, a Kmart that we found out at the coast. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm going to keep trying to figure it out. Mold City. Wow. So sad.